Sam, what is it that you're going to be doing by this time next year? This time next year, I'm going to walk again. Uh, how did you end up in, in the chair? Well, firstly, in 2012, I was on holiday in France with my family and I got food poisoning. Um, that cleared up, but a week later, we got home, I started feeling sort of a numbness in my feet. Um, within 24 hours, they had crept all the way up my body and I was paralysed from the neck down and had to be taken to hospital. The doctor told me he, he, I probably got this thing called Gillian Barry syndrome. It's a. Uh, never it, heard of no, it. No, I'd never heard of it either. The white blood cells attacked my nervous system. So and they eat the, ate the coating on my nerves. So the messages from the brain just weren't getting through. There's four different strains, and I got the, the, the worst variant, which attacks the motor neurons. Total paralysis, and, and it affected my lungs. I, got, I, took on, I, went on, I went on to a ventilator for three months. So I was kneeled by mouth and I couldn't speak. And it was very hard, very hard for the family. I nearly died twice. I was in the hospital for 13 months altogether. 13 yeah. months? Yeah. yeah. How does that happen? You talked about being in France and the yeah. food poisoning. Is that connected, do you think? Yeah, they think it is. They think the food poisoning definitely connected and, and stress. I was a bricklayer by trade, but I was a, a supervisor. It was a very stressful life, and I think it's like, it's like a combination of things. And what were they telling you in hospital? One doctor did tell me I'd never walk again. My consultant said, it's basically, it's up to you. He said, textbook, you know, you're probably not going to walk, but you've got you've to go for it and work hard. Is that true? Can you will yourself better from I think this so. syndrome? I think so. I think so. I got, you know, it's when my arms started to work. I was like, my God, they're moving, but I can move them now. I can touch my... I can scratch my face. You know, I couldn't the scratch joy. my... Oh, I couldn't do that, you know. And do you think you're going to be able to walk unaided? Um, yeah, I, I, I might have a walking frame, but yes. I'll be six foot two again. Yeah. How do you? <laughs> what, what would it mean to you? Oh, everything. I hate it. I, I, I just want to. I just want to look after myself. I, I you know, I'm, I feel a, a bit of burden at the moment for the kids and the family. I don't want to be a burden on anyone. I don't want any carers. You're determined. Yeah, yeah, I really want to do it. And that's half the battle. Yeah, it is. I think. Absolutely amazing, Sam. You will walk through those doors this time next year. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you. <laughs> So how incredible would it be to see Sam up on his feet? Has he done it? Let's see. Absolutely amazing. And listen, I know how hard it's been to get yourself here, and I just wanted to show everybody a little bit of that journey. Okay. At the start of the year, I started building up my leg muscles by going to hydrotherapy three times a week. Hydrotherapy was really great for me. Uh, it allowed me to exercise in the water without putting too much pressure on my joints. My muscles have just jellified and to actually turn them back into muscle, I think it's quite hard as well. There you go, this is me standing. I've got a lot of hard work ahead of me. I'm gonna walk again, I wanna walk again, so I've got to be determined. Just finished my swim up at the Olympic pool. I'm lifting another five kilos on my legs, and good news is I've lost another stone in weight. I've had my new standing frame delivered. Just straightens all my bones. It starts strengthening the muscles and the tendons and all the cartilage and bits and pieces for, because I haven't been using my legs for so long, so it will firm it all up. 
This is my dad, and he's standing. I can see the world from a different perspective again. You know, I haven't been able to stand up and open the cupboards and get the cups out for a long time, so this is absolutely brilliant. So to see my dad stand again after a few years not being able to, it's actually quite emotional because then we can see how much he's improving and how well he's actually trying to stand. It's not going to take long for him to walk again. What made you feel emotional there? To see my daughters. Well, that was great. So, I, I just, I guess what I hadn't realised is how much your muscles, they just go. They disappear, yeah. Completely. Yeah, it's like a jelly, I've been told. So you're starting from scratch. Absolutely. Breaking, breaking that, breaking muscle, you know, you have, you have to break the, uh, the capillaries to build muscles, so it's, 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 yeah, it's constant. I think that for the frame I, that you saw me in there is absolutely superb for me. And the next one will be a walking frame. It would be similar to that, but my feet will be Moving. touching the floor and I'll be able to, Get from to push myself B. about. Yeah, so that's the next step. What about the doctors that said, you know, you can never do it? Yeah. What, what are they thinking? I don't know. They're wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to do it, however long it takes. It could take another four years, five years. So it might be ten years, but I'll be, I'll be up. I'll be walking. What's been the hardest part of this year of saying, I'm going to walk? Um, probably realising that I'm not at the end, to be honest. But I see it as a, it's, a, it's been a really big boost. It's given me an incentive, which I probably didn't have before. I want to be independent properly. I'm pretty much there now. There's just a few things that I can't do, which I need carers for, like getting dressed and things like that, but it will happen. I can get undressed. <laughs> Some things never go, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, the important so it's, it's, thing. It's, the important thing, yeah. It's, it's work in progress, that's me at the moment. Thank you. you go for it, Sam, and yeah. we wish you all the very, very best. You're our hero. Keep going, keep yeah. the fight. Yeah, thanks for giving me the, the fight to do it. Love you. <laughs> Thank you.